NIV sells itself as just being an easier to understand version of the Bible. Turn to John chapter 8 and verse 32. Because what we're told today is that, you know, you just can't read the King James Bible. It's too archaic. So really all, you know, the NIV does is it just removes the these and the thous, uh, you know, and the yees and the yous out of the Bible. Because, like, that's so hard to understand for people, those four words, right? The these and the thous. Like, I'm going to explain it to you in two minutes. All right, I'm going to explain to you how to, how to recognize the these and the thous and the yees and the yous in the Bible and what the difference is and actually why it's necessary, okay, to have those words in the Bible. Look down at John chapter 8 and verse number 32. This is Jesus speaking here, and Jesus says, And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So here we see two um, words. We see a ye and we see a you. So here, here's all you really have to remember. Okay, first of all, the the and the thou will always go together, and the ye and the you will, will always go together. Why? Because the ye's and the you's are plural, and the these and the thou's are singular. It's very simple. All right, these new versions of the Bible, they just change it all to you. They change it all to you. So, what they do is they remove information from the Bible. Because if I say, hey, you know, you should go wash my car. There's no way in a modern version of the Bible is to be able to tell if I'm talking to one person or many people. Whereas in the Bible, the King James Bible, we know that Jesus here, look back one verse where he says, if ye continue in my word, then ye are my what? My disciples. Uh, he's talking to many people. He's talking to many people here. And we can tell because of the ye's and the you's. Now the ye is the subject and the you is the object, which means, you know, we, you don't even need to know that. All you need to know is the ye and the ye's and you's, the y's, are plural. And the these and the thou's are singular. That's really complicated that I just explained to you in like two and a half minutes. But my point is this. If you remove the these and the thou's and just turn it all into one word, you lose information. You get rounding errors. It's like a rounding error. If I have a number... Think about this. If I have a number like 12.137, and then I round that to the nearest, you know, um, tenth. So I round it to 12.1. And then I go and I give that number 12.1 to somebody, that, that 3.7 is lost forever. That information on that 3.7 is lost forever. So if you just take the these and the thous and the yees and the yous and you turn them all into you, you have lost information in the Bible. You have literally, just from that one mistake, you have removed from God's Word. 